It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. And by elephant, I mean his trunk. And by trunk, I mean your penis. When's the last time you gave it a really good clean? Do you know what you're doing down there? Do you know what happens if you don't clean it properly? Stick around and find out. Hello and welcome to my channel, where we share videos about all things puberty. If you're interested in receiving our weekly video updates, such as this one, then hit the like button and subscribe. From topics like this one, to issues such as how to handle peer pressure, or what to expect from your first period, this channel is for you. Now let's jump straight in. The Humble Penis Penises are great, there's no doubt about it. It must be something about having directional aim with your pee that's so empowering. But before you go bragging to the girls about being able to pee around corners, just remember that their genitals are self-cleaning. Ours? Not so much. Sweat, urine, and body fluids from your normal day-to-day -day activities can build up and cause a whole host of smelly, unsightly, and unhealthy problems. One of these problems is smegma, that cheesy, rancid-smelling substance that collects under the foreskin and around the glands or head of the penis. Smegma is actually a natural lubricant that prevents your penis from drying out, but if you don't regularly clean out the excess, let's just say it isn't pretty. I've heard kids being called Swamp Crotch before, and it's not a nickname you want for yourself. But if you think that's bad, leave that smegma build up for too long and you can end up with a condition called balanitis. And it's as bad as it sounds. Balanitis is an inflammation of the head of the penis or foreskin, typically caused by inadequate cleaning and skin irritation. In most cases, it's the result of a bacterial or yeast infection growing around the penis head and feeding off the smegma. Disgusting, right? Symptoms include itchiness, burning, pain, and difficulty urinating. All things we try to avoid. Now, while it's most common in boys that aren't circumcised, balanitis affects all boys and can be brought on by using perfumed or scented soaps or by not rinsing soap off properly after washing. So we know why. Now let's find out how. How to clean your penis To a lot of boys, this next part is going to be old news because cleaning your junk has been second nature since day one. And for you guys, you're lucky. But for myself and for a lot of boys, they never really got the in-depth tutorial from mom or dad growing up and were just kind of left to figure it out themselves. So this next part is a cleaning your penis for dummies. Stick around, you may just learn something new. There are two camps when it comes to penis cleaning and we'll start with the easiest of the two. Team circumcised. Quick reminder that circumcision can be a personal, religious, or cosmetic choice, and there's no shame in either of those choices. In saying that, boys that are circumcised do have it easy when it comes to cleaning and maintenance. Without the top part of the foreskin, circumcised boys clean downstairs as they would any other part of their body. When it comes to uncircumcised boys, your cleaning regime is a little more thorough. When showering or bathing, fully pull back your foreskin and gently wash the head and exposed shaft with warm water. You can use soap or shower gel, but lather into a foam before applying. Never use product directly on your penis. Use a thumb and index finger to softly wipe any smegma from the underside of the head of the penis, all while rinsing with more warm water. While you're down there, don't forget the less obvious areas, such as the base of the penis and your testicles. Throughout the day, these areas can get a buildup of sweat that gets stuck in your pubic hair. Just like the armpits, the smell from downstairs can get especially foul if you neglect to wash all of your equipment. After you get out of the shower or bath, make sure your penis is completely dry, especially if you have a foreskin. Make sure to pull it back and dab for any missed droplets before getting dressed. Oh, and on that note, when you are getting dressed, make sure it's into clean underwear. Rewearing old underwear will increase the likelihood of developing foul odors, irritation, discharge, and even yeast infections. Yes, boys can get yeast infections too, so always put on fresh, clean underwear after each shower. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. We hope you now know how to keep your penis clean and healthy. If you have any questions about downstairs hygiene, don't be afraid to ask in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos about topics that matter the most. Thanks for watching.